What? Listen to this podcast right now! Hey. Do you want to hear a fucking podcast about anything and everything? Yeah. Like movies, oh my music, God. television, and more? Oh my God. Well, you've come to the right place. Yes. Subscribe to Journey Into Comics Network, oh. and you get Podcastrophy, oh hosted God. by me, yes. Dick. Why not throw a couple bucks to the Patreon? It's yes. your choice. Yeah. This is a Podcastrophy. That sounds so awesome. The following, the following is a journey into comics. Journey into comics. It's a journey into comics. It's a journey into comics. Journey into comics. Journey into comics. Network. 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 Production. Production. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Adulting Ain't Easy. I think it's episode five. It is episode five. And it's me, Liz, again, co-hosting with my dear Andrew John. Hello. Hello. Everyone. Yeah. So I guess we could start off by talking about we're two weekends away from going to Africa. I'm so excited. And I just got my immunization so i am ready to go now yes you are you have two band-aids on each arm and Mm -hmm. got pills in the bag you are even though it's incruing a lot of costs to go i am super excited and it's a once in a lifetime yes and it's not like we don't have a job we don't have jobs so right money is temporary memories are forever yes so i'm excited don't be excited i am excited i'm just ready to get out of illinois just Away from all the stresses of home and work and everything and just relax. Mm-hmm. Have a proper honeymoon. Yep. Can't wait. Yay. Yay. So, yeah, that's something exciting. But So, we're going to have to record one episode early, but for this one, we thought it'd be kind of fun to do some Would You Rather with different like situations and things that pertain to adult life. Right. So I'm super excited because I've been kind of wanting to do this for a while, but uh, we've kind of always had something else planned. So right. I'm excited. Yes. And one thing that's nice about just kind of relaxing here is this is a short work week. You're almost done with summer school. Mm-hmm. You're done on Wednesday. I have 4th of July off because 4th of July is tomorrow as you're listening to this. So that's exciting. Hopefully have a day off. And if you have a certain job that you can take Friday off, more power to you. I won't be one of those people because life and I'm taking, and we're going to be gone for two weeks, so I really need to save the rest of my holiday time for the rest of the year. Mm-hmm. But yes, yeah, so we talked about we're going to do some would you rather situation. Now Liz found some, and I found some, so I'll have Liz go first, and we'll okay. switch off or something. Yeah. So we didn't make these up. We got these from different re- websites. So I got mine from Improv. It's got 250 would you rather questions. So my first one is or that i want to ask is would you rather have all your shirts be two sizes too big or have all of them be one size too small uh i don't i have to go two sizes too big because i think too small i would just feel uncomfortable at least if i'm baggy i can at least deal with it yeah i like baggy stuff too so i would also pick two sizes too big i feel just so uncomfortable when i'm even like when it's like my natural size but it's just like it accidentally shrinks in the wash like that right. makes me just, so just uncomfortable. Just a smidge, just enough. It's like the arms are a little tight, or, the, or like it's just the, a, through the chest is a little. You're like something like, is something is off, especially in the summer. Yeah, I agree, and it makes me sad when it's too small. But you know, life moves on. It's just a shirt. Right. Right. Your de- your right. question. Let's see. Mm. Would you rather create a great piece of art and not get credit, or get credit for a piece of art you didn't create? Hmm. I think I'd probably do the first one, because I feel like if you do get credit for something you didn't create, people have unrealistic expectations for you, and then you can't live up to it, and then you kind of, your reputation in the art world could be ruined. Right, and if you... Did create, at least you have the, like, I created this, people love it, but they don't believe I did it. Mm-hmm. I, I, I would agree. I would do the same thing. 
I love this one. This is definitely one that would be for me. And it's kind of funny, too. Um, would you rather live the rest of your life with silent but uncontrollable gas or loud, uncontrollable sneezing? Uh, so is loud, uncontrollable sneezing? Yeah, loud sneezing or silent farts. But uh, uncontrollable farts. But they are silent? Mm-hmm. I'd probably do it with a fart because at least you can pass it off that it's not you. And I think people would get really pissed off at you if you were sneezing all the time. At least with farting, it's like... Sometimes it smells, sometimes it doesn't, so people aren't as angry. Right, and like... And farts are always funny. I At least to me, they're always <laughs> funny. Well, and like, you can't go to, like, out to anything. Because, like, at a restaurant, if you're constantly sneezing, or at a movie, or a play, or a concert, it's just not fun for anyone. But at least farting can still be active. Mm-hmm. Even if it smells awful. Okay. Mm-hmm. Would you rather age from the neck up or the neck down only? So... Your bo- body from the neck down would age, or your face from the neck up would age. Oh, that's but it only but it'd be one of those. You'd always look a little off. Mm-hmm. Probably rather have saggy tits, so maybe maybe down only. So you always wear you always wear layers. You could always wear layers to cover it up with your face, unless you wanted to wear a mask. It's hard to. It's like when you ever see like a really ripped old person. You're like, it just you look like an old man face, but like kind of toned by like it doesn't work. Mm-hmm. It's I like agree. Stallone and Schwarzenegger. Like they can't... Nothing they can do can ever fix their face except plastic surgery. hmm Yes. Yeah. All right. Um, ooh, this one's interesting. Would you rather only be able to speak in rhyme or only be able to speak using alliteration? Now, refresh our listeners what alliteration means, because I am having a hard time thinking of what I, it is right now. I'm pretty sure it's when you use the same letter, like, everything is the same letter, like... Um, I'm pretty sure that's it. Alliteration. I think, yeah, I think that's I think right. It's like I think when it's... you, all the words are, let me get a official. I'm pretty so sure I the, this is the Dragon of Comics where I think a lot of comic characters have alliterate names like Bruce Banner, Peter Parker, yeah, all of the, the ones. The occurrence of the same letter or sound at the beginning of adjacent, adjacent or closely connected words. So it was either speak in... Speak in rhyme... Or in alliteration? Yes. I'd probably go rhyme. Yeah? Because at least you can kind of get out where you sound. I feel like if you're constant alliteration, you just would sound like nonsense after a while. I think either way, it's not going to sound good. Mm-mm. And I feel like I'd rhyme over alliteration. I don't know. I think it'd be kind of funny to do alliteration the whole time. It'd be... I think it could um, vastly expand Please your vocabulary. Pass. Poor fun. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't know. It's always interesting. I think I know your answer to this one already. But let's see. Would you rather see the world but live in poverty or stay in one place and live rich? Be able to travel and live in poverty. But I feel like that's kind of an oxymoron because I feel like to travel you have to have some sort of money. Unless you're just like... Unless you're incredibly you're just, lucky. It's hitching it. Yeah, that'd be kind of hard. Yeah, I don't know. What about you? Uh... I would probably, I don't know, it's just a homebody me. I'd probably rather just stay in one place and be rich. Because at least I can kind of create, use the money to do things in the same area. Because like, you still look for like, the neighborhood you're in, you just can't like go around. It would probably get old after, well, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Different times, I actually closed it. Go ahead. Alright, this one's a fear factor kind of one. Would you rather be trapped in a small room with 10,000 tarantulas for 10 minutes or eat 10 tarantulas in 10 minutes? How many in the trapped with? 10,000. It's like being in the basement. No. Eh, no, it's yeah, not that's that bad. really gross. Um, are they live tarantulas that you have to eat? Doesn't say. It's Probably to not. your interpretation. I don't know. Uh, I'd probably do trapped in a room. I don't think I could put them that close to my face. I think I would be able to eat them as long as they were dead. Doesn't necessarily we could, have to be. We feel the cooked. fuzz. And I, I wouldn't care. I would not want because with ten thousand, that's a lot. Plus well, how they'd the start. Room? It's a small room, uh, but they're big and they're gross, and they'd probably start crawling on me, and that's like a big fear of mine. Right. So I'd I, rather eat ten tarantulas. At Maybe. least then you can break their arms off and eat them in pieces. And that's true. Isn't a uh, get rid of them? Aren't tarantulas actually friendly? Um, or they're de- semi-domesticated. 
like the ones you get like pet stores and stuff. I have no idea. But there's I some know people are like super like they have like ones they crop their arm. I'm like, no. it, it could make me uneasy. Like I wouldn't want to like lay in a bathtub covered with tarantulas. If those in a room and I could walk around and they could keep away from them, I'd no, probably be okay. I can't even like. Being at a pet store with a when you pass by one, I'm like, Hida. Yeah, it's like, uh. gives me the willies. I can't do it. And I've, like, even... I think I've been in places where they've done, like, those, um, like, animal shows where they, like, let people hold the tarantulas. Like, <sighs> gross. I can't even kill a normal spy- a spider, let alone freaking tarantulas being around. It's gross. Oh, this is awkward and uncomfortable. Okay. Would you rather walk it on your parents making out... Or have them walking on you making love. I'd rather walk in on them making out. But it's at least it's only awkward for you. If yeah. They don't be like ah. Yeah, I wouldn't. Well, I'd rather have them be embarrassed by what they're doing than me being embarrassed for what I'm doing. Right. That's just. Just I'd rather have the embarrassment's a very common theme in my life. So it's like whenever I can get a chance of like, but I get embarrassed over stupid stuff. But if I could avoid being embarrassed at any cost, that's me. I'd rather do that. What about you? Um, yeah, same. it would be the same thing for me. I just... Because I feel like if it was like... If they were also like having sex, you to walk... I would prop... Uh, it's still awkward. Mm-hmm. Like, and it's just like... The, it, there's so much context there. Like, are they covered up? Are they not? Like, what is the... Yeah, but I still wouldn't want to see any... At least... If you could, could, could context be, with making out, at least they're you probably think that fully they're clothed. clothed. Yeah, right. Because like, I feel like we've been walked in on while making out. Have we? I don't even. I think know. when we were, I feel like we were at my parents' house at one point. Like my mom walked uh, in while we were making out. I don't think so. Or at least like very close to making out. Yeah, it's just always awkward. Or like when I always feel awkward too. Like sometimes when we were dating, like. We'd be laying in bed, and, like, your mom would walk in, and we'd be, like, cuddling. And just, and and just, just talk. kind of, like, awkward. And like, we're just unfazed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She probably walked in on worse with your brother. Oh, I'm <laughs> sure. I'm sure. Okay. Um, this one's kind of a... I don't know. I'm kind of between two, but I'll read this one, because I think this will make more... This will be more deep. Right. Would you rather have the ability to read people's minds or make two people fall in love? Uh, it's kind of a weird one, but I right. Think oh, if, if it's something, one. if it wasn't a constant, I'd probably do the minds. Because mm-hmm. some, because sometimes I feel like you just want to know what someone is thinking because just thinking about what they're thinking just stresses you out. But like, if it, but if it was like constant, like you're just constantly hearing thoughts. Like at a bar, you're just like, mm-hmm. can everyone just shut up? I don't know. I think I'd probably want to make two people fall in love because I think I like making people happy. Right, that's one of the things. That I like about my job. Could you, do, could you do it as like a negative? Like, I will make you fall in love with that other person that you don't like. Ha! Ah, no. I mean, I feel like <laughs> you just depend on the two people. Right. Like, if you, like, if it's your friends who you're like, oh my gosh, like, they, those two would be perfect together if they just weren't knuckleheads and just realized it. And so oh. that would be fun. But two strangers, I'd be kind of hard. I would want to get to know the people first right. before but I. I feel like two friends are like just too bullheaded to not, like, make That's a move. That's what like, I just said. God damn it. I was thinking You're of, not uh, very good at listening. Sorry, I was thinking of the next one I was going to say, and I was like, yeah, I understand strangers can be hard. Mm-hmm. If it were, yeah, if it were people that I knew, then I'd be okay, but then if it were people that I didn't know, then I'd be a little it's different. It's like happened a lot in college. You're like, like, just make a, like, no one would make a move, and you're just like, just, I know it's awkward, just do it. I know, or like you have two friends from like different groups. Like I had this happen once when like, Actually, it was one of your friends, and I thought one of my friends, they would get along really well, but then, but it never, like, they knew each other, because we hung out a few times, but then it was like it never clicked. Yeah. yeah. And it was just, like, sad. Right. I get that. All right. I'm, but, all right, honey, pick, all right, do you want 22 or 23 without knowing the context? I'm going to give you both. I just know which one you want first. 22. All right. It's my number. Would you rather eat a small can of dog food? Or six overripe bananas. Dog food. I just, I hate, and I did it this morning and I was not, I thought they were ripe and they weren't, but it's the texture of an unripe banana that just like. This is overripe. Oh, overripe. So like mushy overripe. Either way, same thing. It's just, it's the texture Mm -hmm. thing. It's a texture thing. And a lot of dog food, I mean, they're, it depends too, because if it were kibble, 
then I'd maybe go the opposite way. If it were wet food, then I would probably right, cause most wet say food, dog at least, food. It's probably not terrible. Because I've seen... Like, the ones, like, that your mom would give Max sometimes, it has, like, fat, it's like rice and peas mm-hmm. and meat. And you're like, it's probably not terrible. It's probably not great. It's probably mm-hmm. worse than Manwich. Yeah, but it would just depend on the dog food. Right. If it was, yeah, if it was like, dry kibble, on, I could Like, do overripe it. bananas. I mean, there was one time that we had bananas in our, um in our fruit bowl and for some reason they started leaking because yeah, they were so ripe that, that one was disgusting. i don't know and it didn't look like it was ripe on the outside it just right. like they like it, didn't, it, like it one, didn't look that bad like it looked like a normal like it was getting brown but like not bad you could still eat it it wasn't like it was, was black like, and i was like why is there gross. liquid in the bowl and i was like oh Cause like one was just hollow i'm like how did it liquefy like yeah so it was kind of gross yeah all right you're My up turn? okay this one is a little interesting says, would you rather forget who you, who you are every time it rains or never be able to remember why you walked into a room? Ooh. Do you forget if you are just during the duration of the rain? Yeah, I think so. I'd probably rather have that because I get so I'm like, why did I come? Like, because I do that naturally. I'll forget why I came mm-hmm. into a room. But I feel like I'd want to keep it just keep it the same anyway. I always forget why I go in a room, so why would I make it any different? That's I wouldn't true. want to forget who I am. Right. Because that could get Especially hairy. with the amount of rain we've had lately. You'd just be constantly forgetting Yeah, you'd forgetting be constantly it. in a state of amnesia. Yeah, maybe Yeah, <laughs> eh, maybe that would make more sense, just to <laughs> forget. I feel like a Sims character. Like, why am yeah, I here? Yeah, right. I love that. Who did this to me? We're all Sims. Alright. Here's a fun one <laughs> that I've... We haven't been in that situation, but I feel like it, we could easily end up there. Would you rather drink all the half-finished drinks in the bar or eat all of the half-finished food at the end of the night? Drink all the half, half-finished. half Oh, that's hard. I don't know. The, the, because are, people are disgusting, so, I mean, that's hard. The food's going to be gross. Like, they're going to have, like, a cigarette butt. They're going to have gross... Well, but, like, the food, you don't know how long it's been out, so it right. might not be good. And the drinks all going to be like, watered down. And... Well, no, there's, like, backwash, and then you don't know if those people roofie those drinks. Like, right. I feel like it's, there's, it's not a good situation either way. I think I'd... I guess the thing is, would you rather be in trouble of getting roofied, or would you rather be in trouble of getting food poisoning? I don't know. At least at the end of the night, so it's like... But I feel like either way, you're probably going to throw up. Yeah, so it's... I don't know. I'd probably do the drinks. I feel like they're mostly watered down by that point. Yeah, I it would think be, it so would be too. gross, but I feel like I've, I've seen the food that's left on like tables at bars. Don't want none of that. Yeah, but, I think I go to do the drinks too because if they're watered down, then I just keep thinking of the old lamplighter's pizza, and you're just like, Ugh, mm-hmm. nope, mm-mm. just like the just the hardened grease. You're like, no, nope, can't do it. Mm-hmm. All right, my one's very philosophical. Okay, well, in my mind. Would you rather work for a boss you hate but make good money or work for a boss that you love but made minimum wage? Um. Hmm. I know, isn't that a tricky question? What was, so the boss you love but make shitty money? Yeah. Hmm. I'd probably work with a boss I'd love. Because, like, even if, like, you like what you're doing, if your boss is horrible... You're not going to be enjoying yourself, and you're going to want to quit or do something. Yeah, I agree. I think the same way. I'd rather have a... I've always want... I've, I mean, for the most part, I've really liked who I've worked for. I mean, there's sometimes that they get frustrating, but I don't think I could work, you know... Right. If I hated my boss, then it would just make me miserable. Like, And I've been in that situation before where it was like, I was making okay money, but it was like the the boss was just not good and... I was just like, well... Is that your summer job? No. Well, I guess partially with my summer job. And then in high school when I worked at the grocery store. Because yeah. what I had... When I first started working there, I had a boss. He was really nice. Like, always, like, made sure... Like, we would have a system where if you needed a day off, you'd put a note on the, on the like, schedule board. And they would tell you what's going on. Or, like, they'd be able to do it as long as you gave them enough notice. But then when they left, like, I had, it was bad, but I had, um, I had requested, like, a month in advance for my graduation party to be off of work, and of course, what did they do? They put me closing, and I tried everything in my power to, like, 
to get out of it. So finally I was just like, you know what? I'm going to call them sick. Like, this is bullshit. Like, I had it plenty of time in advance for them to find someone to cover my shift. Uh And it wasn't like I was going to be by myself. Like, there's always someone else. You always have two people closing at a grocery store, at least. And I was like, this is crap. And that was also the boss that I didn't like. And, yeah. So, she was mad about it, but I really didn't care. I had given her plenty of... I had given her plenty of notice. And and then she retaliated by not giving me hours until I was going to college. Mm. And I had to... Because I was a naive little 18-year-old, I had my mom go in there and yell at her. Because it was like, this is crap. Like... It's not like I'm asking for every weekend off, and I was actually asking for more hours, and she wasn't giving them to me, and so, yeah. Yeah. Not my fault. Mm-hmm. I have a fun one. Okay. All right. And we didn't really do this, but I think this is still funny. Would you rather give your wedding vows using only Family Guy quotes or using sign language you made up? Oh, Family Guy quotes. Right? Absolutely. Like, that would just be hilarious. We already speak in Family Guy quotes anyway. I speak in... I'll make references to, like, what are you talking about? Like, it's a dated Family Guy quote from, like, ten years ago, because I only remember, like, the first four seasons for quotes. Mm Mm-hmm. Hey, Brian. Brian. It's just... Brian. Brian? I don't know. Yeah, no, we already... And especially, like, movie quotes, too. I would love that. Yeah. And it's so easy. I mean, with certain shows, there's so many different, like, it, there's been so many episodes that, like, it's so easy to just quote them just at any any moment. Oh, these are going to be fun. <laughs> Sorry, I keep finding the next one that will be good. Okay. Um. Ooh, this one's a hard one. Would you rather have to wear sweatpants for the rest of your life or never be able to wear sweatpants again? Uh, probably never wear sweatpants again. Really? Yeah, because I'm, 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 cause I, I don't wear sweatpants a lot often now. Yeah. I feel like I, I'm, I'm a much more of a jean guy. I feel like sweatpants, I'm, I'm not going to wear sweatpants to work or a formal occasion. I'd rather just be stuck, just never be able to wear it again. Because I can always wear, like, shorts if I yeah. had to. I don't know. So, I had, like, so when I was younger, I used to have an aversion to jeans. Oh, what the? What did... I didn't press anything. I didn't press anything either. Oh, I did. Just kidding. But Thank you, <laughs> the TV <insane> randomly <laughs> came on. Um, so when I was younger, I had a huge aversion to jeans. So I, it's a tricky one for me. But I would definitely wear sweatpants for the rest of my life. Especially since with women's sweatpants, you can totally... Like, with certain sweatpants, you can, like, jazz it up. So, like, some, like some yoga pants, you know, you... You can dress them up and they look like work pants, or you can dress them down and make them look like lounge wear. But I love sweatpants now. I don't know what I was thinking when I was younger, saying, ah, I don't like jeans and we wear leggings all the time. But if I had to pick between sweatpants and jeans, now I'd say absolutely. Your turn. Hmm. Oh, this is an interesting. Sorry, this there's a bunch of these, but I think this one will be more... Would you rather have a missing finger or two extra fingers? Hmm. Either way, I'd be staring at my hand a lot. Right. Hmm. I think... That's a tricky one. Maybe... I think it would be... For me, it would be the missing finger. Because at least then, it depends on what finger, too. Because like, if it was a pinky finger, it'd be easy. Right. But if it were, like, my thumb, then it wouldn't be fun. But, um, I think missing a finger. Because then, at least you can still fit into gloves and stuff. Right. But, like, if you have two extra fingers, you'd have to get, like, special gloves. And oh, I just... What, could you imagine those nitrile gloves that they wear, like, at the hospital and trying to put those on with two extra fingers? Yeah, you And where would cut... they go? Like, would they, would they have, like, would they just be off the side, like, you have, like, a really... Like, like, circular hand? Yeah. I don't know. I, every time I think of, like, the missing finger, I keep thinking of that, uh, that Greta movie we watched where yeah. she, like, put, the glo- put like, the, the like, wool or something in her end of her finger and then put the glove on. I was like, mm. Oh, yeah, because she used a, she was, they were baking something. a cookie something. cutter. I don't know, those, those things are not that sharp, but, mm-hmm. I don't know, I, I don't know, my thinking, I would probably, if they were functional, I'd probably just have the two extra fingers. 
know. I think it'd be weird, but if as long as it wasn't on both hands, I think I would just... Because I feel like you could use that to your advantage, depending. It would. I would only do the two extra fingers as long, if they were distributed between oh, both if you had, hands. Like, what, if you had just a six on each hand. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that would be better, for sure. The okay. one missing finger I can always pretend. Mm-hmm. Um, alright, this one, I mean, this one's pretty easy, but it's just weird that they have this on here. Would you rather share your house with a family of rats or live with your parents forever? I would totally live with my parents forever. A house, what, with rats? Share your house with a family of rats. A family of rats is a lot of rats, too. Yeah. It's not like four, it's like... And I, I, I know some people, like, they get so mad at their parents because they live at home or, like, they've moved away, gone to college, and then come back, or, you know, lived on their own for a little bit, and then for financial reasons have to go back. But I never really had a problem with living with my See, parents. I, I agree. I think, as a, as married people, it would, it would be weird, because... Mm-hmm. But yeah, I think, I wouldn't have an issue with it. I think we've both lucked out in terms of, like, parents. Mm-hmm. So, I, I wouldn't have an issue with that. Yeah. I mean, it probably, like, for the rest of my life would be a bit, like... I'll eventually to inherit the house. That'd be fine. Yeah. I like my parents' house. Uh-huh. That's good. Uh-huh. The only thing is, I would have to... As long as they would let me have the animals. You uh-huh. know what I mean? Because if they were like, you could live here, but you don't can't have any animals, then I'd probably be a little mad, but... Uh-huh. Right. Yeah. Your turn. That was, that was yours. Let me find where... There's one I liked. Um, I'm pretty sure I know our answer for these. All right, would you rather eat pizza every day or never be able to eat pizza again? I know my answer. Eat pizza every day. Oh, yeah. Because you, I feel like pizza is one of those foods that you can mix and match. Like, there's so many possibilities and combinations right. that you can... I would eat it every day, and you could always have something different. Yeah. And there's always different kinds of, like, in terms of, like, brands of pizza and everything. Right. and Like, it's not like it's to be, like, you have to have the same type. Mm-hmm. It's like if you have to have Little Caesars every day. Oh, if I had Little Caesar every day, absolutely not. That's disgusting. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, I get that. I think, yeah, it's just... Because, you know, it's like, oh, I'm going to have uh, a margarita pizza, or I'm going to have, like, a flatbread, or an Alfredo. Like, there's always something you can do, a little variation, that keeps the variety. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, this was kind of a gross one. All right. Would Bring you rather the... have the legs of a frog or the head of a fly? Would they be like proportional to your size or like tiny, tiny frog legs? I don't know. I'm assuming the head of the fly would have to be like it's, just, it's all your proportions. I'm going to say proportional to what your. Probably legs of a frog. I think the fly head would creep me out and everyone around me. I could live normally. The only thing that would be interesting about having a fly head would be that you've got all those eyes and you could, like, right. I just look I'd like everywhere. The, the, the thing. I don't know. It'd be weird. But then also I would wonder, because isn't it like flies throw up every, like, two minutes or something? Uh-huh. And that would be interesting. Would you get also the functionality of the head? Like, would right. you be throwing up that much? Or, like... You know, those those types of things are what keep me up at night, right? Yeah. I, I think the frogs, at least if you sit down, you could probably get away with, like, I just normal. I well, in the frog, you can at least cover up. Like, you could wear, wear pants. pants and Right. I mean, shoes. you have to hop like a frog because of the leg set up. Yeah. Like, you just bounce everywhere. Maybe yeah. sit in a wheelchair. I don't know. You can make it work. Yeah. I agree. All right. There's a, here's one I think is my would be my eternal struggle. Would you rather always get stuck in traffic or always have a really slow internet connection? Oh, no. I know. Um, at least, well, well, we'll probably have to experience both when we're in Africa, but I think I'd rather be stuck in traffic because I really don't mind being in the car as long as I don't have anywhere specific to be. Like, if I'm not running late anywhere, I'd be okay. But at least when you're, like... I guess in both cases you can do other things while you're waiting for the traffic to go. But, like, I like listening to the radio or an audiobook, so it really doesn't bother me that much as long as I have something like that going on. Right. But with the slow internet, it's like I use the internet all the time when I'm at home, and if I had slow internet, I think I'd just go crazy. I agree. Which is so sad. I mean, I, I used to not be like that. It's just, it, it's so ingrained in our life now. Like, there's not a... 
a time like we're podcasts right now and we both have our phones and our, well obviously we're doing our would you rather but even in general mm-hmm. they're always nearby and I think as much as I hate traffic like to stay and like whenever we get stuck by like a train or whatever I'm just like ugh yeah. or when people don't follow traffic rules yeah and you're sitting there and you're like what the heck like really like this is taking forever right like that's my but yeah I think cause you're not always in a car like if your job was driving like if you were a semi truck driver yeah, for sure, take the slow ride, because otherwise you just go insane. But I th- it's they're both not fun, but yeah, I think internet is more frequent than... Especially with my job, as I'm always somewhat connected to the internet. Mm-hmm, exactly. Oh, this is a, definitely a one for you. Okay. So it says, Would you rather have every movie spoiled for you before you watch it, or not be able to watch a new movie until it's been out for over a year? This is a tricky one for you, so that's why I picked it. I would probably do... I have to wait a year. Because I... You would just be off a year in terms of movies, but... I feel like sometimes the experience of the movie, if going in unspoiled, is makes it enjoyable. And if, I, and if no one spoiled it for the year it was out, it would still be fresh. Yeah, but I feel like that'd be hard for you, too, because you're always on those movie things. So I feel like... Either way, you could get spoiled. Right. Like, if I just wasn't able to be spoiled, that would be one. Yeah, it's it's a definitely a, it's nev- not a good way about it. I don't know. I'm okay with getting movies spoiled as long as... I mean, the thing that makes me even more mad is when people, like... Because movies aren't... I mean, movies are okay and I like watching them, but I'm okay with being spoiled by a movie. But mm-hmm. if someone spoils a book ending, then I get mad. But I know it's sometimes people think it's interchangeable, but for me it's really not. Like, they're two different... A book and a movie are two different things, like... Because you can always... I mean, with both, I guess you could always go on Wikipedia and spoil it for yourself, but, like, I like the act of reading better than watching a movie, mm-hmm. personally. Right. I'm, I'm getting a new one, I think I've... Let's see. Let's see... Sorry, I, just, I opened a new one. Oh, here, I'll give you a new, another one. This All is right. a, another Andrew question. Would you rather have to always watch your favorite show live and sit through all the commercials or DVR it but never know the ending because it stopped recording too soon? Um, I would just watch it live. I think, I think I'd think i always want to know the ending. That's, I think you're right. I would agree. But luckily we don't have cable, so it really wouldn't even matter. We have cable. We don't really watch it. I use the on-demand We have the basic cable. Right, we have the... I mean, that's cable still. Mm -hmm. That's that's what it used to be. Mm Mm-hmm. We're not fancy like my brother who's got all the movie channels and stuff. And and doesn't your brother just use... Doesn't he just use your parents' cable? Or does he have his own? Well, they, like, have an extension for the house, Uh, I think. Damn it. I had... All right. I got one. So, I lost it, but it's, uh... Would you rather have no eyebrows or only one eyebrow? Rather just go all out and say none. I you don't draw them on. I don't. I don't think I'm. So I'm. I like makeup. I would. I would love to be better at makeup, but knowing that I would have to draw on one eyebrow would be, well, yeah, it would not be fun. And I'd rather just have no eyebrows and rock the no eyebrows than right. try to like pencil in another one, mm-hmm. or just get them tattooed so I have no eyebrows. I mean, people do it all the time, and then they're most more they're more convincing for a girl than a guy. Mm-hmm. I always think, every time I think of the no, I always think of that, um, oh, my best friend's girl with Jason Biggs where he had to, like, really, like, paint it on the, because mm-hmm. he got his, like, eyebrows shaved off and a haircut on accident. Mm-hmm. Hi, Peter. All right, another one. Would you rather smell like cat pee for the rest of your life or smell cat pee every day for the rest of your life? Oh, man. That smell a, is rough. That smell is rough. But I don't know if I want to, people to, I, I I'd rather smell like cat pee than smell it. Because the scent of cat pee, like, I feel like perpetually, but... But also you'd be forcing everyone else to smell cat pee. Yeah. It would... I wouldn't care. If I don't have to smell it that much. But I guess if you smelled it for the rest of your life, I feel like at some point you would be kind of immune to it. Uh-huh. But I'd rather smell like cat pee. I know that sounds really gross, and, like, I don't shower or anything. But I do, but I just... There's, like, <laughs> a thing, like, gross scents, I'd rather not smell them. Right. Because then I feel like if I smelled it too often, especially at the beginning, I'd probably, like, be nauseous all the time. Mm-hmm. All right, you're up. Okay. Well, this is a pet-related one. 
Would you rather have a side of dog treats with every meal or a side of cat food with every meal? Dog treats. I agree. Because cat food, the it's, pate and the shredded, they're no. gross. I mean, I've, I've accidentally, like, I've put it away and I'd, like, I'll touch my finger to, like, my face or, like, touch my mouth. I'm like, no, no, no. Yeah. I'd rather do dog treats. And there's so many, there's, like, there's a lot of variety right. with dog treats. So, like, you could do, I've, like, the Beggin strips, they're, like, jerky or, like, right. they actually have jerky that you can give dogs or... You get in the milk bone and right. The milk bone is just bread. Like I had to try it in college on like a dare thing. And it's just it's just it's like stale bread. It's not terrible. I mean, I've had the the dog treats with the CBD and it was fine. Mm-hmm. All right, here's one that I don't know what would be more annoying for our for our family life. Would you rather have a dog that could hum or a cat who could whistle? Well, I think I would say a dog that could hum, because Max kind of already, I mean, not that he hums, but he has this growl. He makes, he, he's, he's interactive. He's, he's interactive with his growls. Like, if you're, like, when we're sleeping, and if, like, we're tossing and turning too much, he starts, like, doing this low growl. It's not, like, a mean growl, it's just, like, a sigh. So if it were, like, he could hum a sigh, like, that'd be kind of funny. Right. And I feel like, always, I feel like I have days where we're just whistling constantly for food. Yeah, because like, Rory's a talkative cat, and if he was able to whistle and try and get our attention all the time, I we'd think always be woken really up super annoying. early. Like, God damn it, Rory, go to bed. Mm-hmm. Oh, this one's a hard one for me. Would you rather always have a small rock in your shoe or always have mud in your shoe or on your shoe? Was it rocks in your shoe or mud on a your shoe? Small sh- rock in your shoe or mud on your shoe? Mud on my shoe. Though, whenever I get a rock in my shoe, it's always like a pain in the ass. I feel like mud. It's just. Oh, hey, no, you just deal I'm with. the opposite. Mud in, like, in between the crevices of my shoes, it drives me crazy because if you have a lot of mud on it, then it makes your walking unbalanced and it mm. drives me absolutely ballistic. And I'd rather be able to at least remove the rock in my shoe. And, like, if I always have it in there, if it always keeps reappearing, that's fine. And I can always push the rock. I would try and push the rock to the front of my shoe so that it would be less annoying than being, like, right on the ball of my foot or something like that. All right. right. Should we do one more each and then we can call it good? Let's do two. Two? Okay. I got one. All right. So would you rather be stuck on an island alone or with someone who talks incessantly? So basically, alone or with me. <laughs> you don't talk incessantly. You can if you're if when promoted, but or enough alcohol or prompted. <laughs> um, that's a good question. It would depend if I had stuff to do. Like if they gave me like a whole library and like a bunch of animals and like things like that, I would be okay. But I think eventually I would get really lonely. But if it were someone other than you that were with me and talking incessantly, I probably would just kill them right off the bat and, like, not even Hmm. think about it. What about you? Yeah, I would probably... I'd need someone there. I'd I'd get paranoid if I was by myself for that long. Mm -hmm. Because, like, you're on an island by yourself. You'd probably just go crazy. I'd I'd start talking... I'd do Castaway and I'd talk to an admin object. I just lose all sense of self. Yeah. Oh no, what a tragedy. Here's this. Would you rather only drink water or never eat cookies again? Would I rather only drink water? Yeah. And no I can eat drinks. whatever I want? Yes. Or you could drink whatever you want and never eat cookies again. <sighs> mm. I'd probably just never eat cookies again. <gasps> How could you? So I just drink all the milkshakes. You. Well, I mean, I like milkshakes too, but I love. Can I cookies. put cookies in my milkshake? No. <laughs> can I have a co- can I have a cookie? That, no but cookie a milkshake, though. <laughs> but a milkshake in your, I mean, a milkshake. That's a kind of a loophole through it. But I don't know. Right. I would probably go with only drink water because I love my cookies. I love my sweets. Like I could never give them up. It's hard now trying to. Be a little bit healthier and not have sweets like that. It's like my, especially the jewel, like soft chocolate chip cookies or the sugar cookies. Like I would be devastated. Right now, it's even hard not to think about cookies. Now I'm thinking about cookies and we don't have any. We have, uh, that breakfast bread. Yeah. Well, what I, don't know, I don't know why it's called bread. I don't know why I call it breakfast bread. Yeah, it's sweet. It's a pound cake. I'm trying to find a good... Fine. Oh, you have one more after I do, so... Mm-hmm. 
Hmm. Ooh, here's a... It's an eating one. Mm-hmm. But I think it's a good one, isn't it? So would you rather eat your favorite meal for every meal for the rest of your life or never be able to eat your favorite meal again? Eat it for the rest of my life. There's... What is your favorite meal? Um... Anything my Oma cooks. So I think most... It would be probably, um, dumplings and, um... What is it? Shoot. Rolladen. Oh my gosh, I could eat that every day. But when like, you get sick of it after, like, a month straight, like, breakfast, lunch, dinner? No. Or quesadillas. I could probably eat a quesadilla every day. And we should get variety okay. a little bit. But, like, a chicken or, like, a steak quesadilla I could probably eat every day and not get tired of it either. Or pizza. I don't know. Um, okay. Right, final question. Final question. Ooh. Uh, I don't know, I don't know. Would you rather... This is kind of a weird one. No, I don't know. There's so many. Ooh, here we go. An ethical question. Okay. Would you rather be framed for a murder you didn't commit or frame your best friend for a murder you committed? Huh. That is a tough one. Mm-hmm. I, I'd probably get framed for a murder I didn't commit because I don't think I could do that to a friend. It's tough, though, because I don't want to be in that situation. But I feel like that'd be... I just... I don't think I'd live myself if I watched a friend go down for something that I did. I think I'd have the same conundrum, but I would hope that my best friend, Julia, lover, (laughs) would know. I mean, I think if I... I mean, I don't know. I think if we, either of us, were convicted of a murder, we'd be character witnesses. We would be character witnesses for each other, but... But there's no way. I don't know. There would be part of me that would want to com- have her blamed for what I did, because then it's like, ha, huh, I did it. I beat the system. Right. <laughs> as as murder, bad as that is. It's as just... bad as it is, but then it's like, I feel like the psychological, just like, the fact of like being in jail and knowing you're innocent and nobody believing you, I think that would be worse on me than having my best friend... Sorry, Julia, I love you, but, yeah, I think I'd probably blame you. No jail for Liz. No jail for Liz. I'm not a jailbird. <laughs> they much reading get done, though. Oh, I know, but they don't have very good libraries in prison. That's what I have to keep reminding myself when someone makes me angry. Right, and if, 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 if you're going for, like, murder, you don't get the same privileges. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, would, that wouldn't be fun. Mm-mm. Maybe to sleep in a little? No, I think they have, like, specific times you have to get up and, like, do things. Outdoor time. Lights out time and everything. Yeah. I, also, there's a lot of people to share a space with. It'd be like college again. Yeah, but more I wouldn't want to share a room. With another person? Mm-mm. Yeah, who wants I already to? have to do that. <laughs> you don't have to, but it, it, it does, it's a, it's a lot of bed for one person. Nice. But you definitely, when I was gone, you definitely made all the use of it. I made a nice little nest for you myself. You starfished yourself. It was wonderful. You made a big, a, a cave in the middle of the bed. When are you going to go back out of town? <laughs> uh, it's like, when can I have my bed back? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're going to have to get used to the, a slightly smaller bed when we travel. But it, it could be worse. <laughs> we're not going to be in bed long enough anyway, I feel like. Mm-mm. We're too busy doing things. Going yeah. outside. Going drinking all of the party. dollar beer. Yeah. Yes. Alright, well I think that'll do it for this week. Yep. Thank you all for listening to our Would You Rather... We're going to have another episode we're probably going to record probably next week that'll come out while we're in Africa. Not sure what it's going to be about yet, but it'll be a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. And then you can hear about all about our trip when we do come back, because that'll be... Well, sure, we'll have two weeks of stories and stuff to share. Mm-hmm. Maybe we'll, throw, and maybe we'll even see some pictures by then. I don't know. I can't see the future. But mm-hmm. that'll be fun. But thank you all for listening. Check out all the other shows on our network. You can find us on social media. If you have any thoughts, feedback, topics that you think we should talk about on the show, feel free to suggest them on Facebook, and we'll do our best to incorporate that. Yes, please do, because sometimes we have a hard time figuring things out. Yeah, we're like, even like a half hour before this, we did not know what we were going to talk about. We're like, what do you want to do? We're just eating dinner, because I make quesadillas on the grill that were delicious. Mm-hmm. Just, I, I like trying things on the grill. I'm a lot like my father. Like that time when we, when we visited him a couple weeks back, and he was just like, breakfast on the grill, lunch on the grill. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Everything, anything that came down the grill will be on the grill. So, mm -hmm. but it's good and it's a little different. But yeah, that'll do it for Adulting It Easy for this week. This was season two, episode five. I am Andrew. And I'm Liz. Have a great week, guys. Bye.